For today's detour, you and I got to drive about 15 miles east on the Mass Turnpike, right here to the great city of Boston. We're at the Boston Convention Center, a place where I usually come for Comic Con, and I meet a bunch of celebrities. Today there'll be no celebrities. Today we're here to look at cars. It's a blistering 22 degrees outside, which makes today the perfect day to be inside. It's cold enough to make you cry. Yeah, it's freaking cold out. Oh man, yeah, it's cold out. But we're inside now, we're inside the Boston Convention Center. It's the New England International Auto Show. I didn't apply for a press pass for this show, so I'm gonna walk up and uh, purchase a ticket. All right, $17 gets you into the auto show. The car right there reminds me of a test track at Epcot. Look at all these brand new 2020 vehicles around me. Ford, Chevy, Hyundai, Volvo, Toyota, Maserati, Dodge. They're all here. Well, maybe not Maserati, but they definitely got Lexus and Infiniti here. The good thing about these conventions is that I know I'm not going to spend any money. I'm not out here meeting celebrities. And I know I'm not going to buy a brand new car because, well, I just bought a car last year. Don't need a new car. And how can I forget about Subaru? It feels like you're walking into Fort Wilderness Lodge or Walt Disney World. I mean, am I right? You got your picnic table, your pine trees, your mountain out in the distance. They got plenty of food out here at the Boston Car Show, but uh, hopefully they got a bar too. Looks like there's some kind of Italian food, maybe pizza, maybe some burgers and some maybe Chinese food at the end. I'm seeing plenty of chips and salads and sodas, but no beers. I skipped the burger and the pizza. I went for the burrito bowl, got some beef and rice and beans. I have officially found the bar. All right, now it officially feels like a detour. Cheers. What did I just step into? Bruce Wayne's garage? I mean, seriously, these are the kind of cars that Bruce Wayne, Batman, would have in his personal garage. But I am not Bruce Wayne, I am Derek Millen, and I am a proud owner of a Hyundai. Yes, this is the brand new version of the car I own, the Hyundai Tucson. This thing looks slick, it's the same color as mine. Not bad on price, 23 grand is what they're asking. I think I paid 18 for mine, it was one year old. Yeah man, this is slick, this is a lot better than one I have. Oh, did I mention this thing's got a sunroof? Oh, the Hyundai Tucson is a smaller SUV. Well, it's perfect for me. I mean, it's just usually me rolling around by myself. No car seats in the back. Plenty of room for your groceries in the rear. The 2020 Hyundai Kona, it's an electric car. You go home with you for $37,000. It's a sport SUV. It's one size smaller than the Hyundai Tucson. And it probably has about the same size cockpit. What do you guys think about the on-dash navigation? I mean, this is on top of the dashboard. I like mine inside of it. This seems like it's like putting an iPad on top of your dashboard. I can see it getting very hot in a summer day. Maybe not today when it's 22 degrees. For $32,000, you can go home with this 2020 Hyundai Palisade. For this sleep looking vehicle out here at the Boston Car Show. I really did this driver compartment. That's how my, uh, navigation system is it's in the dash the hyundai elantra is usually the vehicle i rent when i'm traveling from my parents house in florida up to walt disney world smooth ride it's got the apple carplay and all the bells and whistles and the hyundai elantra has got that in dash navigation system that i like i don't think i've ever rented or driven a hyundai sonata that's a sharp looking car they even got it in silver i'm really digging this team toyota suv stars and stripes it's going to give you Apple CarPlay, Amazon Alexa, and Android Auto. And folks, check this out. Last but not least, 2020 RAV4 Prime, 302 horsepower. Welcome to Boston. Welcome to Toyota. And as we like to say, let's go places. Fun fact, I went to high school with Jan from Toyota. Her name's not really Jan. I like the color on this Toyota. It's a Toyota Highlander for about $35,000. Toyota's model is, you can go places. And for about $24,000, you too can go places in this Toyota Prius. This $26,000 Toyota truck, built for activities. Kayak on the top. This guy's gonna get inside of it, probably gonna go do some kind of adventure, him and his wife. You probably asked me, Derek, is this Ford Mustang street legal? Well, according to this sign, it is. I'm not a huge fan of the color orange. But if this thing was parked in my driveway, I definitely wouldn't kick it out. Look at this Ford Mustang SUV. 
This thing looks like it's straight out of Tron. This Ford Mustang is a 2021 and it's an electric car. The 2020 Ford Edge Titanium. This thing just screams undercover cop car. I should know because my father was a cop. For $36,000, this 2020 Ford Edge, blue in color, can go home with you. I also have a couple cop friends and this is what they drive for a cruiser. So that's why I know this is an undercover cop car. Yeah, if blue isn't your thing, they got a red one up here as well. Again, a Ford Edge. Do I have to keep on saying the year 2020? These are all brand new cars. Everything here is 2020, okay? $28,000. This Ford Fusion could be yours. The Ford Expedition, another well-known undercover cop car. And this undercover cop car will run you just about $77,000. And I don't know, I'd say it's worth it. Look at this interior. If you get $77,000, that's a good deal. Now, if I had $77,000, there'd be an investigation. Yep, definitely cop car. This thing's screaming behind you on the mass turnpike while you're trying to go 75 and a 55. Another beautiful Ford Mustang here on display. And if you don't win this beauty and the price is right, you can purchase it here for $26,000. Can't forget about the old reliable Ford F-150. Built Ford tough. I have a few friends with some Ford F-150, so I know what it feels like to be riding around in this thing. 2020 Ford Raptor. Kind of like it just for the name. This van, you could actually build it to be in an apartment, almost like a Winnebago or an RV. Uh, this thing is perfect for boondocking. Plenty of room for a bed, desk, refrigerator, maybe a little makeshift toilet. No windows. Stealth camping right there, my friends. Stepping up to Jeep territory. I'm not allowed to stand on the platform, so this is as close as we're going to get to the inside of this Jeep. But we can look inside this Jeep Compass. The Jeep Compass is a small SUV. I would say it's comparable to the size of my vehicle. As you can tell by my vocabulary and my knowledge of cars, I'm not a big car expert at all. I know what I think looks cool. I know what colors I like. I know what I want in my interior and all my bells and whistles. I'm just showing you stuff that I think looks cool. I'm not saying I'm an expert on any of this stuff. Here is the 2020 Jeep Grand Cherokee. It's the 2020 Jeep Wrangler, and it can go home with you for a little bit over $38,000. Imagine jumping in this Jeep with your friends, throw a couple surfboards in the back, up the sunroof, and take this sucker to the beach. I, did it. I was wrong. This is the Jeep that you need to take to the beach with all your buddies and your surfboards. This can handle that. Well, the other one could too, but no doors, no roof, hang 10. You can drive home today in this $55,000 purple Jeep Grand Cherokee. That's a mouthful. Again, I'm a little bit colorblind. Is this a purple? If it is, I'm really kind of enjoying this color on this Jeep. But I would probably spend about $10,000 less and drive home today with this Jeep Grand Cherokee for $44,000. It's got everything you want in a Jeep for $10,000 less. Lots of room for adventures. I don't know, what do you guys like better, the purple or the gray? Still kind of digging that purple. Wow, stunning. Again, we're not allowed to step up on the platform, so this will be the closest we're gonna get inside of this Ram. If the black Ram isn't your thing, right behind me, we got the white one. And that white Ram is this $42,000 Ram 1500. Or should I say 1500 Bighorn Crew cab? That's a big cab. Again, plenty of room for you, your friends on the way to the tailgate party. Black, blue, white, the choice is yours. Check out the 2020 Dodge Durango GT Blacktop. It has a low base price of $37,000. It has an all leather interior and also that inboard dash navigation system. 2020 Dodge Challenger. Maybe my dream car. The last car I had before my Hyundai was a Dodge Charger. But, uh, wow, this thing blows that out of the water. Especially since I had a souped-down version without a cop engine. The 2020 Dodge Challenger Hellcat. You can purchase this beauty today for just under $60,000. What a machine. 
There she is, the 2020 Dodge Charger Hellcat in all her glory. Yeah, a lot bigger engine than the one I had. Yeah, a lot different than the car I used to have. But my Dodge Charger was a 2007, so that's nearly 15 years old. I spy a Corvette. 470 pound feet of torque. It will go 0 to 60 in less than, who knows it, who knows it already? 2.9. Three seconds, that's right. You get up to 12 different exterior color options, 7 different interior color options, with 6 different seat belt options, and all kinds of customizations that you may want to do to your Corvette to make it your own personal style. That's right, we have two different trucks. We have the front trunk and the regular trunk. Some people have coined the front trunk a front. That's right. The all-new dual clutch blank automatic transmission can shift faster than humanly possible, also known as the insta-shift. <laughs> Who's going to get this one right? That's right. Eight speed. The 2020 Chevy Camaro. Loving that blue color. Bet that guy feels like a boss in that thing right now, right? And you could too for just under $26,000. Alright, one more question to go. This is the last one. What is one great advantage that results from the mid-engine design? The front tire. So that gives you improved visibility. Jeez, who's number one? Give it up for Jason. Now, if you... What do you guys like better, this red one or the blue one? Oh, convertible or hardtop? I'm going with the convertible. The Chevy Blanchers look a lot different than they did when I was growing up in the 80s and 90s. The 2020 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD. You can bring this monster home with you for just a little bit over $35,000 today. The 2020 Chevy Silverado. Chevy Silverado base price, $50,000. Let's check out this trail boss. Comes with a sunroof. All leather interior. If the boys of Hazard County, Dukes of Hazard, Bo and Luke Duke were to own a truck, it would be this 2020 Chevy Colorado for $45,000. Are you right? It's got the same paint job. I'm a little colorblind, but uh, that's General Lee Orange, right? My friend Melissa used to have a GMC Denali. Bunch of fun memories taking that thing to the concerts. This base priced one is $37,000. Get it all souped up for about $67,000. It's a beautiful looking truck for all you hard workers with the large truck bed. Put all your tools back there. Maybe haul a fifth wheel trailer. Denali HD. Plenty of room for you and all your friends. This $31,000 version of the Denali is more the size my friend Melissa used to have. Yeah, this is definitely more the size. Plenty of concert going in this truck. With plenty of room for all your tailgate necessities for those concerts. Coolers, tables, chairs, kegs. If you're digging the Chevy Denali but you didn't want the truck version, you can get the SUV version out here for anywhere between $26,000 and $39,000. Again, like all Denali's, plenty of room for your friends and you. Head down to a concert or a ball game, whatnot. A little tailgate action. Oh, look, 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 look. Maserati. I know I mentioned at the beginning of this video, didn't know if they're actually going to be out here, just kind of rambling as I was talking. But, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I have found you a Maserati out here in Boston. I found you three of them, in fact. Got some Bentleys out here. SUV and sports car versions. Wow, check out this Rolls Royce. Look at the interior color of this Rolls Royce. That thing is beautiful. Check out this Mazda. That's something that James Bond would drive if he wasn't driving an Aston Martin. I'm not saying James Bond ever drove a Mazda, but I'm just saying it looks like the kind of car he would. <laughs> Buy a Mazda. Feel alive. You looking for German cars? Well, they got them out here at the Boston International Car Show. International meaning... Well, it's more than just American cars. I'm seeing a lot more SUVs than sports cars out here at the car show today. Is that what everybody's buying now? 
I mean, don't get me wrong. They still got, you know, the Jettas out here and everything. But I'm seeing all the dealerships have more SUVs this year than sedans. At least in my eyes over the last few years of covering this event. 2019 Volkswagen Jetta will just a little bit over $18,000. And there's your obligatory look inside the driver's cabin. The Volkswagen Passat, a very popular sedan. Here's a 2020 model. Which you can go home with you today for about 23 grand. Again, like most of the cars out here at the car show, it has that in dash navigation system another 2020 volkswagen sedan we got the what's it tegan tegan i don't even know if i can pronounce this i know it's german and Arteon? Arteon? Arteon. i apologize i'm terrible at speaking german pretty much anything else besides a little bit of you know, high school spanish and pretty much 99 percent english this buick encore gxst looks Pretty much like my car, except it's a Buick. Copywritten music, I'm gonna talk over it. Good looking all leather cockpit. I'm sure it's a lot more expensive than my Hyundai. The Buick Envision will only set you back about $33,000. Nice mid-size SUV. With a comfortable looking driver's cabin. I'm running out of clever or non so clever stuff to say here about the cars at the car show. But well, I couldn't leave without showing you a Lexus. If I was to film today's detour alphabetically, I would have stopped here first at Acura. Fine looking piece of machinery. Again, I'm just not a big fan of the orange color. Gotta let you open the door so this is closer we're getting inside this Acura. Had to stop over and say hello to Nissan. Dope color on this Nissan Z, digging the silver. Here's a beautiful 2020 Nissan Maxima. Love the color, love the interior. 2020 Nissan Rogue SUV. Question number one, this one's easy, you should get this right. What color is a stop sign? Is it red, is it blue, or is it orange? Red, blue, orange. Next question. Unlike conventional all-wheel drive, Nissan Intelligent all-wheel drive recognizes the difference between day and night, different driving terrain, or jam and jelly. All-wheel drive. It's an intelligent all-wheel drive system. It has sensors in the wheel. What does it help you sense? Day and night, driving trains, different driving trains, or jam and jelly. Clearly, different driving trains. So if it senses any slippage or anything, It'll shoot power to the back wheels. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. This Nissan Arada. Love the color, love the size. I believe this is the first minivan I've seen today. Everything else has been like SUV trucks and sedans. Kia Sportage, I would say it's a similar size to the Hyundai Tucson like I have, or maybe the bigger size Hyundai Santa Fe. This has been an exhausting day. One more factory to visit, Honda. There is the brand new 2020 Honda CRV. The LX model starts at just a low $25,000. Let's check her out from the rear to the front. And of course, get that cab shot. Once again, plenty of room for groceries, your friends, your pets, what have you. A very sporty looking 2020 Honda Accord here on display. Show price of $37,000. When I'm thinking about Hondas, which, well, no offense, it's not too often. I'm definitely not thinking about trucks. Think about more sedans, but this is a Honda Ridgeline 2020 model beautiful looking cab. If I was a police officer, this Honda Civic would just be definitely on my radar. And not necessarily because of the speed.
Now this is the way to travel. I didn't buy a car today, but I did get a free ride. That's gonna be it for tonight's detour here at the Bus Convention Center, the New England Auto Show. Well, that's gonna be it for my coverage of the 2020 New England International Auto Show. If you like this video, you know what to do next. Give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. I always answer all the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to Detours. Click that red button. While you're clicking away, click that small bell. It'll give you instant notification every single time I upload a brand new Detour. Check me out on social media. I'm on Instagram, at Derek Millen, D-E-R-E-K-M-I-L-L-E-N. On Instagram, I'm posting pictures where I'm currently filming a Detour. You're going to see where I am a few days before I post that video up on YouTube. And as always, I'll catch you on the next Detour.